hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video will be like a mini continuation from last week's video which is girl to girl and today will be about tv shows and movies per usual i know it's been a while but if you're new to this channel usually every sunday i normally focus on sharing what i've been watching and what i've been listening to within the week and also i do have um two playlists on my channel for songs perhaps you have the same taste in music as i just check it out you might like it i have playlist one which is just for nigerian songs and then playlist two for every other song that is not nigerian so give it a listing or check it out who knows you might like it and also if you're new to my channel <laughs> even if you're not new i post every friday and every sundays and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified each time i make a post i also post on my shorts every day so there's lots and lots of content for you to enjoy but let's get into today's video what have i been watching this week The first series I've been watching this week would be John. It's spelled as Joanne. It's pronounced Joanne in some places, but for the series, they pronounce it as John. And this is an interesting TV show, though it is a bit annoying. <laughs> I said annoying in the sense that the character, the female lead character, is actually really annoying. And why I said it is a continuation of last week's video is because this storyline, there is a lady who got pregnant during her um, teenage years. When she was little, she got pregnant and she keeps making poor decisions. I won't say bad. Yeah, bad. She keeps making poor decisions that it got to a point where she could no longer afford life for she and her daughter. And she was forced to give up her daughter to the foster care with hopes that by the time she's able to be on her feet or get something suitable and comfortable, she will get her daughter. Mind you, this is someone who also grew up in a foster home and her mom was also not present in her life. She had a very rough childhood and to think that the pattern continued, you know, that's why I see if we don't work on ourselves as women, it always falls on ourselves because in all of this, I never heard anything about her dad. It was just her mom in the picture. And then she had to give her daughter up and for psych here. She went on to keep making bad decisions like stealing. And guys, the tape was not just normal store burglary or something. She actually stole diamonds. She swallowed it. And due to poor decisions, she still lost all the diamonds. She lost so many things you know and she also lost her daughter in the process so it is just such a sad experience though it is not a true life story but this is just a reality of what tends to happen in our society so give it a watch you will not regret it and i feel like season two because complete episodes of season one has been released so we're looking towards season two and i feel like season two would be very bloody saying that she has made as many mistakes as she could or as she can and they are all grievous mistakes so i feel now because towards the end of the scene she's like now i want to build an empire for myself <laughs> you know and when you've gone through so much in life the comeback is always brutal you know so that's why i'm like i'm so eager to watch season two so in as much as i see the character was a bit annoying just don't worry i feel like season two would be so interesting and season one is also interesting you should definitely give it you watch for this series i just finished speaking on you can find it on streaming platforms and then this next one jail bed on the run you can find it on netflix or i watched it on netflix and this involves a true life story of a prison warden i'm not sure if she's a warden but she works in the prison and she's someone who is a diligent worker and has been in that station for 17 years so she was that go-to person for everyone and then there was another man or would i say guy another man that was in the cell awaiting trial and currently he's serving a 75 years sentence and one thing led to another they fell in love she helped him escape 
and towards the end she lost her life but he was alive and if you watch the story it's just such a sad sad case that some people would say it was love because they realized or they calculated everything that to cause them and she went ahead with it but i am a, i am of the opinion that love should not cost you your life you know i don't care how interesting or i don't know i don't care how intoxicating the love is i feel no love should cost you your life and if a man truly loves you there are certain situations that he will not just put you in you know there are certain situations that they will protect you against and this is someone that has worked in the prison for 17 years you know she has been that nice person you know like i said go to a person and in a blink of an eye her life came to an end because she fell in love with a prisoner and guys it's just it is such a crazy story and the most mind-blowing part for me my takeaway is she lost her life and this man is still alive and he gets on to still live life till whenever i think he later became on capital murder i'm not so sure but yeah and it, this is a real life story guys she lost her life and he's still alive so most times the the game is already rigged against you so it is your responsibility your duty to protect yourself because at the end of the day if no one protects you you lose your life and there's no opportunity for you to even be alive to recognize the mistakes or understand the, your mistakes and how to do things better the next series i watch would be an invincible victim eliza samodio you can also find this on netflix this is also another true life story and it is just super super sad and in as much as i say this series or movies is sad it is very important for you especially as a lady as a girl to watch this and you know there's always that takeaway message you know that lesson for you to get from these stories and like i said it's true life story and which other way or better way to learn something if not from experience be it yours or from other people so for this there's this lady a young lady and uh, she was 24 years old and she met a very very popular um popular goalkeeper in brazil and they started dating and after a little while he got to announce to the whole world that he's engaged and he has a fiance and he even went out for one of his match with his fiance on the other hand he was dating eliza i'm telling you guys about so this eliza came to find out that he's engaged to another woman and she said she didn't know okay now you know what's the next thing before you realize she's pregnant for this goalkeeper and he told her that he doesn't want the child first firstly initially the conversation they had was what does she want to do and she said she wants to keep the baby and he said okay that's fine and from that conversation alone i would say there is a way a man will speak to you as a lady in certain instances that you will know that you are on your own <laughs> you know or you will know that this is someone that is not interested in being a part but there were just so many red flags that she needs and in as much as some people would say she was confident and bold I would say there are some situations that doesn't require confidence it's that same way they say you will live to fight another day if you die today you will not be alive to continue to fight tomorrow so it is of paramount importance to protect yourself first for you to be able to be alive to even continue the fight and there were just so many mistakes that happened because from what i remember her family members were aware of this relationship and i didn't or I would say personally, there was no point in time where I I knew to my knowledge that any family member even spoke to her about this part that she's choosing. And at some point, you know, they said um, she did different jobs, which were not morally right, which also affected how the police and the society viewed her once more. That is why I will always say it is your duty to protect yourself. And some of these jobs she did, that was what people always kept using to judge her and that was only one of the main important things that made the case even more difficult and then along the line he was also physically assaulting her and when she talks to her friend she would tell her friend things like he beats her because he loves her you know and some bizarre statements like i said again i didn't really see anyone in her corner telling her like 
exposing her to the actual uh, reality she's living and it got to a point where she said he poisoned her with um, drugs so many drugs a liquid that she didn't know he gave her he forced her to drink it she slept this day and she woke up 2 p.m the following day and then he told her that um she was going to get an abortion next week friday you know like there were just so many red flags that she she wasn't aware of and you should also understand that this was decades ago so that's why i said you should watch this as you should watch this as a means of lesson you know where to where red flag is very glaring but sometimes due to one or two things maybe we're not being mindful you know so just with an open mind you should watch all of this and there's a lot to take away from this and even threaten her down to the fact that if she does anything that is not in accordance to what he wants he will kill her and kill her family members and her people because he knows where each one of them lives and he made mention he made a statement that he was going to kill her and no one will find her body and all of this were happening you know she kept going to the media kept going to the police and you know for everything that happened she will always go to the media which was in turn triggering the goalkeeper because he was someone who really cared about his image how people perceive him and it's just such a messed up messed up story that could have been avoided you know and it is just so sad that in the midst of this he always had women around and some women were even aware of what he was doing and there was no repercussion you know he had women at his beck and call his ex-wife not even his current wife his ex-wife there's still some ounce of support from her she also assisted in uh, um taking care of the child of the lady who died as the eliza you know and it got to a point where according to her when she was handed over the baby she didn't even ask like get proper information of whose child that was before accepting the child you know so a lot of men failed her so many men because the plan and all this came to light because one of the perpetrators was a 17 years old boy who for obvious reasons he could not handle the trauma and what had happened so he was the one who was even able to give the police a story or what um, the story behind what actually happened so guys there were so many men involved from her capture down to her death and not one of them at any point in time could you know bring some sort of sense or order and call themselves that there's a better way to handle this that aside the crazy part is there was a lady or two ladies who were involved in also getting her to a particular vehicle a particular site and it's like you are a girlfriend or a side chick to this man and you are helping him do this to another person who supposedly has his child what is to become of you should you no longer be of value to that person you know so there's just a way that ladies tend to think that it is not right, it is not proper and I really don't know how we're able to be in that mind frame, you know, that we, in as much as men can feel a woman, a woman should not feel a woman, you know, so please just give this series a watch as triggering and as annoying it is, you know, there was a point where her mom made a statement, she said, her daughter was bold, she was courageous, she fought and another detail the mom gave was when she was a teenager, she also went through domestic violence from late Eliza's dad, that was her ex-husband and to think that her daughter lived the same life this is that thing I'm telling you guys about pattern. Pattern doesn't have necessarily have anything to do with spirituality. There are some patterns that if you're not intentional in breaking them, it just happens. Haven't you seen cases where people tend to laugh and mock at people in certain situations, especially our parents? And then before you know it, without you even realizing it, you become that same thing, that same thing you once crucified. So ladies, it is important that you protect yourself with everything you know, protect yourself and the sad, the sad, sad, sad thing in all of this is he actually had a hand in her death. Till date, there was no really, there was no conclusion to the story, there was no closure because till date, they don't know where her body is. According to the 17 year old, that's the goalkeeper's nephew, he said after killing her, they dismembered her body and fed it to the dogs. 
but according to forensics they said it is not possible because they checked where the dog is and if they actually ate her remains there would be a splatter of blood in the crime scene but there was none and guys they tried as much as they could and there was no evidence in as much as there's a little bias from the police department but you know like i said if you don't protect yourself the world will do like everyone will turn their back against you and in fact in turn they will crucify you more on it you know and it is just so crazy that after everything happened the sentencing and everything and they never got down to the root of how everything happened because like i said till date nobody was found guys he did his jail term and he didn't even complete it because there was something that happened with a new government he got released he got inducted into soccer once more and he's now a goalkeeper living like enjoying like nothing ever happened and this lady is late and no one even knows where her remains is and when i watch tv shows like that it is just it is really triggering it is really sad and it is just sad you know really sad because these are things that could be preventable you know with the right knowledge you know so that is why i say it is not enough for you to be able to pick yourself out of some negative or wrong mindset you should also for the sake of others pass it on to whoever cares to listen you know anyone around you so long they are open to listen please always help educate the girl child so things like this do not happen because once more this man is out living life in fame luxury with his post like nothing happened and i can assure you without a single iota of doubt that he will have lots of ladies after serving his jail term and late eliza is nowhere to be found and she never for any reason she never deserved what happened to her regardless she never never deserved what happened to her so ladies protect yourself the next one can also be found on netflix and it is called into the fire the lost daughter this is also similar but not really and it's also a true life story where a teen mom had a child i think at 18 i'm not so sure but a teen pregnancy she had a child and she was a runaway she gave birth and it got to a point where she said her mom called her and told her she cannot afford to take care of the baby and she needed to give the child up for adoption because um a family that will be able to treat or give the child everything she needs would be better so it's better to give her up for adoption and she agreed and she gave up her daughter for adoption and that was it decades later i think about three decades later she will, she would have been 30 something years at this point and the mom fell in love and from one reason or to the other she according to her she said for the first time in her life she experienced unconditional love and that was what um encouraged her to go in search for her daughter because she was always at the back of her mind and she was hoping that perhaps one day her daughter will come looking for her when she said looking for her daughter she came to realize that her daughter went missing at age 14 and then she realized that from investigation little by little little by little she realized that there was little to no investigation after her missing and the story behind her missing was just so fishy she wanted to get in touch with the birth parent they were not letting her they weren't giving her the information and the answers she needed and in as much as she's saying this she's also someone who recognized the fact that she gave up her daughter decades ago and she cannot just show up and start demanding all this rest assured but she needed to know what happened to her daughter and you know after so many so many years and hard work you know different means they were able to realize that the family who adopted her the father was sexually assaulting her her stepmom after a while was aware but I would say she turned I would I don't I don't even know how to classify it if she turned a blind eye or for some reason she believed so much in her heart that her husband was not like that. I don't know. I I I I honestly don't have words for such women. I don't understand, you know, and I would say I refuse to understand, you know. And so many places failed this girl. The church failed her, school failed her, uh, um police failed her, like 
everyone in her corner failed her you know and the story they gave initially was she ran away from home and it got to a scene where her mom was saying it's so crazy that she was also a runaway and now her daughter is now a runaway and then after all said and done it was discovered that her dad was sexually assaulting her he was physically assaulting her you know and down to the meal she ate what she ate it was all questionable and it's just so crazy to think that if you know you don't want a child you're not ready why adopt a child you know anyways that aside come to find out after so many drama persuasions investigations they discovered according to the father the adopted father he said she came back from school one day and they were talking they got into an argument he slapped her and she fell from the staircase and according to the mom which is also another angle to look at it is it is a bit weird to think that a 14 year old girl will fall from a flight of stairs that is not really high per se and die flat out you know and like i said after so much persuasion the man was able to tell his wife that her body is in their house their backyard and there was a particular statement that his wife made and even when the police kept telling her about what her husband did and the rest she kept making her choice of words were crazy you know she kept making statements like no she cannot believe that because this is a new information her words are just being shut like there were certain choice of words she used that is like are you for real and then at some point when the police even told her that her husband has done a lot of things she said she has forgiven her husband because she takes her marriage vows seriously and it's like <sighs> <laughs> guys just give it a watch you know and the scene where he was confessing to his wife before he even started the confession she made a statement she said he shouldn't confess to what he didn't do and it's like are you for real he's telling you he wants to confess you're telling him you shouldn't confess guys come to think of it that this man had murdered someone yes like decades that in 1980 something or so he had murdered someone and she was aware of it because there was this particular statement she said after the first time because he went to jail for a particular crime she said after the first time he should have seeked help so she knew and it's, it's just so crazy that with all this information she was still supportive you know gallantly standing by him so yeah since like that just it really triggers me you know because aside this um 14 year old daughter the mother they actually have another new baby and it's also a girl child so in my mind it's like how is such a woman thinking or because you think he did that to his adopted daughter he can't do that to his biological daughter and guys he also raped or sexually assaulted another lady who actually helped the mother in um finding the answers to all their questions he raped her when she was six years old so like he has a long spreadsheet of rape violence like crimes hideous crimes against women and to an extent she knew a number of the things he did and like i said i don't know i do i like i just don't know how women like that think how they do things especially when she said she has forgiven him and she takes her marriage vows seriously so it's just so crazy you know when you watch stories like that true life stories true life stories you know that that girl did not deserve this life she did not deserve the life she went through and it is just so sad you know just take your lesson please just make it your duty you must not make it your duty because so that it won't so that it won't seem as work but just make it a point that if you come across any girl child who is listening who cares to listen to you in fact even if she doesn't care to listen to you do right by her by telling her what is true and leading her to the right path however she chooses to do with that information is up to her but just do your part you know the work is too much for one person we can all collectively do what is right in our own little way you know it could be just one person two girls it doesn't matter because in all of these stories the women lose their lives and the men still happen to be alive sometimes even go ahead to live even more prosperous lives 
than you who is the victim or was the victim so it is really important i will say this again that you as a girl as a lady as a woman it is of paramount importance that you protect yourself before anything because society will not be there to protect you the same men will not be there to protect you they will even shame you on top of that so be wise and then for the last movie or oh yeah series as well <laughs> guys i'm so sorry if it's a movie or series i i am complicating all of them my bad but i think most of them if not all are series some like two episodes or so so yeah just give it a watch i will leave the picture beside so you know exactly which one i'm talking about the next series this cannot be found on netflix i watched this on a different streaming platform it's called paris has fallen if you're someone who is into thrillers and you know that rush of that rush of adrenaline then this is a perfect series for you it is really interesting the storyline is really good let me just give you guys a brief of the storyline it surrounds a man who used to be in the military before or used to work in the government and then he became rogue he wasn't taking orders he wasn't listening and then there was an order that was sent for them to kill him since he was refusing to act in accordance but unfortunately they ended up killing his family because they set the bomb under his car but instead of him his wife and his kids got into it heading to the market so he lost them and then on top of that they betrayed him to the taliban and guys if you see what they did to this man he said he was tortured he was raped his whole body was burnt like a good part of his body from his neck like half of his face his neck guys this is a sight that a sore sight i would say because you can't imagine the kind of pain that such person would have gone through that the rape and torture is one thing but those bones guys it is just you cannot understand the kind of pain such person would have dealt with upon seeing and he did not just hear of it he actually saw when the car exploded with his wife and children so now he's back for revenge for all the people that were involved one way or the other and gave him up to the Taliban because he said he lost about 23 men. And each person he contacted to do one thing or the other, they would always prove that they are smarter than and he killed each one of them and their deaths were brutal. There was even this, I think a minister also, he asked for 100 million euros. The minister refused after he had killed someone um, close to the minister. His wife advised him that it's just money. You should give it out. He paid the 100 million euros only for them to catch this man, come into his house where his wife and son were sleeping, caught this man, took him to a secluded location. And he also said at some point that he is a man that cannot be bought and he is a man that cannot be negotiated with. Guys, they got to a scene. They went to cash out 100 million euros. Or is it a million? No, 100 million euros in cash. And they set it on the floor and kept him on the money and burnt him with the money every single dollar they bonds the man and then his next target was the president that's his last target and that's where i stopped or that's where all the release because so far there's been just three episodes out and i think they release every week if i'm not mistaken so i'm really looking forward to the next episode and i'm sorry if my storytelling skills are poor <laughs> I did my best guys but trust me they are really interesting interesting tv shows you should give them a watch and for my ladies one especially all these real life stories i have shared it is important to watch them and take your lessons you know no love should cost you your life there is no human being on earth that should lift their hands on you and you give that excuse that it was done out of love it is not possible there is no love that looks like that there is no love and violence do not go together it is impossible so please you deserve better and you can do better you know just protect yourself with your life self-love practice self-love protect yourself and yeah thank you so much for watching in this video i hope this today's video wasn't such a bore i figured we haven't spoken about movies in a long time and i happened to watch a number of movies so i was like why not let me share it with you guys 
and once more for songs guys I've actually still not been able to listen to songs and once more I know I sound like a broken record but a few times I've been able to be able to listen to songs I've been listening to Longo Boy I've been listening to He Is and yeah just these two albums um, <laughs> guys i've been a bit busy that is why i don't know if any one of you have been checking the playlist i have not uploaded new songs in a while i would love to do it at my own time because i would love to take my time because like i said it is a playlist that i actually listen to myself and i created myself so i would love for you guys to share in that experience so it's better i do it when i'm settled and i give you guys the rest of the best so Thank you once more for watching to this video if you're new to this channel thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified there are lots of content for you to enjoy to my old and returning viewers thank you for your constant support and i really appreciate if you guys leave your thoughts in the comment section or recommendations on what you would love for me to watch listen to or share and um, if this video resonates with you don't forget to hit the like button share so that will keep the conversation going and um, yeah subscribe i'll see you guys next week bye <music>